So look, I get it, okay? You know, I've done a ton of Optimus Primal reviews in the last few months, and this isn't necessarily trying to take advantage of the Rise of the Beast film being in cinemas. It's it's just that I really like Optimus Primal, and you know what? I can do what I want. You know, I don't have to justify anything to you, of all people. But this is the last one for a while. Promise. Maybe. So that original Beast Wars Primal is easily in my top three Transformers of all time, if not the top spot. It's just packed with features, play value, it's got a huge personality, it's fun to transform, it's a hard toy to beat. Now the Takara Tomy exclusive Kaxi Awakening Optimus Primal Ultimate Class is here, straight from Japan, and it's incredible. You know, honestly, the closest we've come to toppling that original Beast Wars Primal in terms of just being a big fun monkey. And out of the box, I'm surprised at just how beefy the boy is. I was sure he was going to be slightly bigger than the Voyager that I already have, but not by much. The big bot is just as poseable as his little brother, and looks a little bit more in line with the movie design with that paint job. We've got some pretty nicely articulated hands, with knuckles, and an independent forefinger too. The sculpt work is great also, with a good mix of textures, and it holds together nice and snug. This doesn't factor into the transformation at all really, but you can turn the gorilla toes at the back inwards to give Prime a pair of kitten heels. Primal here does feel very solid and heavy. I was worried he was going to feel quite hollow, but that is really not the case. I have lamented the loss of true, fun gimmicks within Transformers of late. Legacy pushing the suggestion that someone holding a gun is an evil fusion isn't cutting it these days, so I was glad to see just how packed this toy was when it came to fun features. First up is Burning Cheetor, who comes slung in a plastic bag which surely won't pass any health and safety regulations. It's just a fun red translucent version of the Cheetor Battlemaster we had a look at a few reviews ago, and it's fine. You know, I wasn't that keen on the Cheetor mold here, but it does fit nicely against the darker primal paint job. And look at the other options you have for mounting Cheetor in this weapon mode. You've got seven ports in total, so fill your boots, wee man. In fact, let's get the other Battlemasters I have on here. Isn't that daft? I love it. Next up, we have these covers on the forearms, and at first I knew they lifted somehow, but they just weren't coming up until I realised you have to press this button on the other side and whomph, some wrist rockets. There's also a pair of shoulder-mounted missile launchers you can sling out when you're looking to cause some real problems in your area. I think the missiles are meant to be sculpted like fire, but they look like they have the same dark, hairy covering as Primal himself, and hairy missiles may be a first one for me. Primal, of course, comes with his two swords, which are accented with this orange colour. I don't dislike it, you know, perhaps a red would have gone better with the launchers and the wrist rockets, but I guess you don't necessarily want to sell what looks like blood-soaked scimitars to kids. As you might expect, they also combine at the hilt to become a deadly... fucking thing? They can also store on his back for when he's waiting in line at Costa. The last of our gimmicks is this rotating face change lift up Primal's face and you can rotate out the faceplate if you're sick of those big lovely kissable lips. And isn't that a lot of stuff? I'm really digging this thing, easily the best robot mode we've seen from the Rise of the Beasts Primal line. It's an actual toy, you know? Transformation is so tactile and fun due to primal size, it just feels great in hand. Not many surprises in how it's done, it's the usual spinning chest plate, the standard rotation of the monkey head swapping out for the robotic noggin, turning the waist 180 before bending the knees inwards, cap it all off with the famous arse flap, and we're done. What a beautiful robotic gorilla, I can hear you all say, and for once, you're right. It actually does look like the design from the film, with a pretty spot-on head sculpt and tons of articulation. Primal looks great in profile here too, and much like the robot mode, there's very little wasted space. I would have liked to have seen an opening mouth on the gorilla head, but that's a small niggle. Honestly, what a belter. It's just definitely toy of the year material here, just fun from the second you start messing with them. And it's such a shame this doesn't currently have a wider release, because I recommend it over every release so far. It makes me wonder if I'll even bother with the upcoming leader version, it just doesn't look anywhere near as fun. So that's our last monkey for a while, folks. Back to daft robots. No, no. No, no, let's give the baby their bottle. You're, you're the baby, by the way. Goodbye.